Hello, it's Peter here. Today I'm going to show you how to install AMD drivers. So let's start with the first step. You should know what model of processor and graphics card you have. So the first thing that I need you to do is to type DXDUG. Click enter and press now. This is going to open a tab with all your system hardware. So you're going to find your processor model, you're going to find your video card, your sound card and all of that. So as you can see right here, my laptop has a AMD Ryzen 5 2500U processor with Radeon Vega graphics. Let's say I have an Intel model. It's not going to affect this, but this is a tutorial for AMD, so if you have an Intel processor, then this is not for you. You're going to go to display. In the display tab, you're going to see your graphics processor. So here you can see that I have AMD Radeon graphics, it's Vega 8 graphics, it's an integrated graphics in my CPU. You might have a dedicated GPU, and you're going to see the model here. Okay. So now that you know the model, you can also find it on the box of the laptop or the discrete graphics card or on the site from which you bought the computer. But the most and the best way to find this is this, is with the DXDUG because it's the true thing. Maybe your manufacturer or your company that sold you the laptop didn't know better and they mistakenly put another spec. So check this here. Okay, go on Google and type AMD. You're going to see a drivers and support tab. Click here. And you can now search for your model. So let's say you want to get your graphics, so graphics. You're going to select your series. For me, it's Radeon Vega series. Let's see, integrated, no, this is not. Here, processors with integrated graphics. So Ryzen processors, Ryzen mobile processor with Vega graphics, and you see here my model numbers. So if you click submit, So you're going to click on Windows and click Download. But as you can see, you need to know a lot about your computer and it might be hard for some people. So the other way is to just, let's do it again. Go on AMD, go on Driver Support. And instead of searching for your graphics card, for a professional graphics card or processor, chipset and all of that, you can go with the auto detect tool provided by uh, AMD. So you can click download now. Okay. Click here and accept. So what this is going to do for you, it's going to detect your hardware, it's going to detect the version of your drivers that you have installed, or if you have none, it's going to tell you what to install. And it's pretty straightforward, just click accept, accept, accept. It's official software from AMD, so it's not going to want you to install other things with it. So don't you worry about getting uh, <coughs> malicious software or stuff like that. While it is opening, I'm going to do another search for uh, a manual driver. So let's say you have an RX graphics and you have an RX 560, it's the same thing. You click just submit, you click on the version of Windows that you want to have, or I don't know, even Ubuntu is supported from what I can see, and download. So the software has opened and you accept and I recommend a custom install since you can see what it is installing. This is going to take a little bit of time.
since it's checking for drivers online, it's installing the software and it's also checking for your drivers. So I'm going to go with recommended and install. This is also going to take some time. Okay, it's looking like it's going to do something great. So, it says that I should update my display driver. Also, I should add an HDMI audio driver, but I don't know, I don't want that. A controller and right down settings. Well, for now, I don't want this to this free. So I'm just going to go with the display driver and I want to click install. So this is going to do everything automatically. Of course, if you're going to click on the downloaded one, it's going to do the same. Like. There's going to be no difference, but this is way easier and I really think if you need help in order to install your drivers, you shouldn't go for the manual uh, way. Because back in the old days with automatic driver software, you could get like a bad version and you, it was recommended to go with find it yourself. But today things have changed and it's, it's better to just download the detect tool. Even I do it, I see no reason why you should manually download it, unless you're going to get the driver for a computer that doesn't have internet, then I see the point of downloading the exact specific model. Okay, so after a long time waiting, it is installed and you can click restart now or close. Definitely going to like restart later so the update can apply. 
Okay, so thanks for watching and see you another time for another tutorial here on the channel. Bye!